So we're at the Interpretive Center in St. Martin's. This is where we're going to be starting, and in case you know what we're going to be climbing. What do you think, Chair? You want to turn back or? Spectacular. <laughs> That's where we have to be. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. So we're going to go register, and then we are going to start out. So we got the packs ready. We're registered with the center, and we're going to head in. So. By all accounts, this is an extremely difficult hike, so see how we do it, boys. Think, what do you think? Huh? Oh, you gonna be able to do it? Yeah, no problem. So, this phone has a terrible, it's just pitch black. There's nothing there. It's just a black board. So, we're just starting. We're gonna hit the suspension bridge, and uh, we're already tired and sore. So, not a great start, but here we go. Okay, we're heading across. See you guys back there. Suspension bridge. Suspension bridge. A little wobbly. A little wobbly. Backs are feeling heavy already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already sweating. Not a lot of water in there now. It gets a little tight. So we're about a kilometer and a half in, Jer. A kilometer and a half oh. just over a kilometer and it is rugged terrain no doubt about it 1.22 we are in the thick of shit our first cable stairs and they go up a fair way All right, here we go. Uh, casualty. Yeah, so we are well, in. Third casualty. What are we in, Jer? Just like not even two k. <laughs> One and a half k. Yeah. I broke two zippers, and Jer has a strap let go. Coming apart at the seams. Try up here. Yeah, she's uh, quite demanding. It's becoming apparent that, in my case anyway, cheap is not always better. Just come up our first set of cable stairs. Wasn't as bad as I thought, and there's probably a lot worse on the trail coming ahead. I will find them all. Stair number two, cable stair number two. And this one is considerably bigger. So we've decided to go to the bandana, Carl and I, because the hats are quite, quite warm. That was a difficult trek. We're getting close to Sealy Beach, our first uh, stop. And we're uh, taking a quick break from the, from the weight of the packs. But it's a nice area. Nice breeze blowing in off the ocean. So this was supposed to be a privy, they call it. An outhouse or a shitter. And as you can see, it hasn't, hasn't done very well. And there's the top of it. Yes. Whew. Tough trail. This is how far we up, are up here now. Carl's back there taking pictures. Jer, where are you at Jer? There he is. And it is, it's tricky. What time is it around two? I don't know. So we've come to the place that we've seen on YouTube actually. Looks to be a washout, a very major washout. Jerry's having some gear trouble. Here we are. Quick three. So unfortunately we're not where we thought we were. We thought we were at Long Beach Brook. Uh, about a half an hour ago. Unfortunately, we are just getting here now. And this is where we've topped up with our water supply. I have my Sawyer Mini, worked great. Carl, what you have? Catadyne? Uh, no, MSR Mini works. And MSR Mini works. So we got all our water bottles filled, got a good drink. 
and we're going to continue on our way. So we we'll now realize that we are definitely behind where we thought we would. Whew. The stone face here, we're going to take a mock it up beside. This is very, very steep. Very steep. All right, I'm going to start making my way up little by little. Okay. We're at Dragon's Tooth, and I am fucking exhausted. What? How are you doing, man? Yeah, myself. Yeah? It's uh, colder to five. Yeah. A little off base. I have a stone right in my back. It's awesome. <laughs> so we're at Sealy Beach, and we are deciding... Well, we're going to get pull that radio up church too, or is it no, probably, probably not. Fine, eh? It's pretty full. Yeah. So we're going to go on to Cradle. Is it Cradle Brook? Cradle, Cradle Brook. Cradle Beach, Cradle Another Brook. 3K. Another 3K. Another 3K. We're going to come, come across a couple of the hikers. Oh, we don't even have to make Cradle Brook. Yeah. We, it's 5 and a 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. Yeah. It's the decision to be made here. Anyway, we're probably going to move on. So we're at Sealy Beach. There's a brook just a couple hundred meters off the shore. And we are getting our water, filtering our water. Right. Just topping up the water. My old Sawyer Mini. It's working quite well. The bag is a little hard to fill, but it works really quick. I can fill a bottle in, you know, 30 seconds, a minute. And Carl's got the real McCoy. He can he can fill large bottles over there fairly quick. We're leaving Sealy Beach and we're heading to Cradle Brook, and this is the first thing we hit. I think this is the second highest elevation. Yeah, we just come off Sealy Beach, and it is by far the hardest climb we've had. It is straight up for five or six hundred feet. How'd you like that, boys? That was a workout. That was tough. It was hard. It was hard. It was hard. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. It doesn't. Camera doesn't do it, but that is straight down. Northeast of Sealy, yeah. <sighs> Again, the camera won't do it justice, but that is straight down. That is a brutal drop off right there. Crazy. <sighs> All right, here we go. Onward and upward. Getting in the trees. Are we coming up another set of cable stairs. We came up another set of cable stairs when we thought we were getting close to Cradle Brook. Wow, what a mistake. <sighs> so Carl and I are. We're suffering from Charlie yeah, horses. My and right quad is, quads are, is uh, spasming. Yeah, mine too. I'm good. And Jared's fantastic. <laughs> Jared's Bastard. All right, onward and onward. Yeah, that's a nice fucking picture. Game can read it. Yes. So, oh, man, I don't know. we made Cradle Brook. Oh, and wow. we are roughly four hours behind schedule. Yes. Roughly. Somebody was just here, boys. Yeah, they might decide to move on. Maybe they heard us coming. Is it still smoking? Brutal, absolutely brutal. Oh, that was tough, tough, tough. Legs are done, back is done, feet are done. Well, we've been walking for eight hours with probably 30 pound plus packs. Yeah. Oh, what a learning curve that was. Yeah, the knees and the quads and the hamstrings. But and... it's an amazing, it is a beautiful spot. Oh, yeah. So we'll set camp here tonight. We're gonna get a good night's sleep. Maybe get my feet in that brook. Yeah. Try to get the blisters down. That stairwell. Fuck, I don't that know. is the stair. I, it's gotta the be a couple hundred feet at least. It's gotta be. Easy. I bet you that's the same stairwell we're going back up. We yeah. likely will be heading back up a similar stairwell, yeah. I fucking hope not. I'd like to know where. Oh. Okay. No, no, I think that's it there. Oh. Can you see it? I can barely lift my arm. Yeah. Is that still on? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so e easily, we were suffer I was suffering coming downstairs, very oh, much so. I was, and my uh, legs are gonna hurt in the Jerry was skipping down them like a schoolgirl. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Marathon running bastard. Okay, time to get set up. So this morning, I'm feeling pretty good considering the rough day we had yesterday. But look, check this out now. <sighs> Quite a thing to wake up to. <laughs> so far, it's too thick. It's too thick for bears, really. So day two, yeah, we're into rain. We're all a little sore, except for Jer, and we are on the way straight up again out of this valley that we were in last night, and we Cradle Brook, six hundred feet, and we slept on the beach last night. We walked about what fifty feet 50 off the feet. beach. And found a perfect campsite that somebody else had found earlier, and we slept on stone, and they slept on moss. So that's what happens when you roll in at night, I guess. Yeah, when you roll in the dark, you can't see any. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Hello. So we're into some fairly heavy rain here. We're at the very top of this mountain. Pretty heavy. We're getting pretty wet. Oh, the, the mist is gone. <sighs> Check in again soon. Hopefully these kind of timestamp. I don't know what to do. So we're we've come 2.4k in how long, Jer? Just over an hour. Just over an hour, which is not bad. If you've seen what we were tracking through, that's not bad. Oh, that's pretty good. And it's a miserable day. And I don't know, Carl. Is two is little salmon just our next break? It's not our stop for tonight, is it? No. So 15k in total from Big Salmon, which is where we left from. So, not bad. Day two. All right. So we're crossing this. Looks like an old bed. Pure gravel, stone. I can't get a good picture of that, can I? Are we about two kilometers south of uh, Little Salmon? I'd say about that, yeah. All right, we're heading across. This is Little Salmon River. And it doesn't look like a great crossing, and it's miserable. And if you can see across there, that's what we got to go up when we hit the other side. And what we just came down was pretty extreme. Uh, oh, that just came there. across Little Salmon River. Pretty good. Water was low enough that we crossed there, changing into our water shoes. But that's what we came out of. And what we're going into looks very similar. I think it's even higher on the other Probably side. Probably even higher. And it's raining it's pretty hard. We're pretty wet. Fun. We're soaked to the bone. What's that? So we made Rapidy Brook. A very treacherous, an unbelievable climb up the mountain. Very tough. And an extremely tough. Coming down was pretty treacherous just because of the, uh, everything is slick. The rocks are slick, everything is mud, and it's nasty. So we're stopping here for a few minutes. We're going to get resupply our water. Try to make it to Telegraph Brook is our plan. That was uh, brutal. So far, it's, what, Jared, but 130, maybe? Right now? Probably 130, yeah, quarter to one. And uh, a brutal day so far. Absolutely brutal. Would have been bad without the rain, with the rain. That's uh, been pretty nasty. All right, check in again. I just came down another large descent. And we're heading to, we're coming across Wolf Brook. If I'm not mistaken, then that's the next section where we're camping out. Next section what? Where we're making camp. Okay. Wolf Brook. And that's where we came down. And I'm not even sure if that's a waterfall or if it's just the fact that it's been raining so bad. It's running off the mountain. I don't know. Pretty brutal. We just come. Oh, maybe. We just come through a brutal spot. A rock climb. To get around a riverbank. To get to this. 
And now we don't know where to go. We think we may have to go into the into this water again to get back up, but there's what you're looking at. We'll figure it out, I guess. Nice area, but rugged as hell. We're at Hunter Brook. Not really sure where that is. It's, it is somewhere it's between what, Wolf Creek and Telegraph, Telegraph Brook. Brook. Uh, and we were up on a cliff earlier and we are really high still. So we have an awful descent to make. Although probably if it looks at this another climb, then a descent. Well, we made, careful, we made uh, Telegraph Brook and it is cold and wet and we've been following the sort of hikers the whole way in. They've done quite well. Sure. They get in here, I'm guessing a half an hour at least, maybe an hour before we did. They're experienced hikers, they've done this before a few times. And we are wet, so we're going to try to get a fire going. If we can get something going. Oh, nice oh that sun's nice. So we didn't last night a decent time into Telegraph Brook. It is it was a real cold night. I don't think any of us slept great. But now the sun's coming up this morning, everything's starting to dry out. Everything was just soaked from last night, from yesterday's day in the rain. Anyway, this is where we are. Couple fellow hikers with us. They look great. Oh, that sun is good. I don't think so, Jared. What's going on? Oh, just don't want to try to stop this from sliding off. Uh, I don't have any tape at all, actually. I have some. Uh... 11.04, we're just getting going out of uh, Telegraph Brook. We are heading up there. Not carried? It's, uh, it's, well, I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, I'll check it in a I checked, it's like one blue light on. I don't one know blue, that. that's pretty well where it was. So. Uh, that's all right. So we made Quiddy River. Uh, where are you guys from? What time is it, Carl? You know? Uh, if your phone's not on, don't worry about it. It's, uh, Yes, there's probably going to be shot up there. Ten to one. Ten to one. So we left this about an hour and a half to get here, but it's straight hiking. It was really good hiking, except for this the last little descent into Quiddy was it was treacherous. It wasn't the hardest one we've done, but it was treacherous. Beautiful spot. Finally got some really good weather. Come across some fellow hikers here. They come in with their kids from an access road. Real nice people. So we're going to fill up our water here, just to top up, and then uh, going up this monster right, it's waiting for us right here. Who's back there? So we are two and a half hours in today's trek. We come up, don't be hiding back there, Jer. We come up at a Quiddy River. It was a pretty tough hike, but then we've had real good going from here. And then we're into something, we're not really sure what. We're at about kilometer 11. It drops us right off and we can see a parking lot over there. And we hear voices, so I don't know if they put a campground in yeah, or something. There's a road that runs right down to the point. Okay. So I think we're we're right down around it's somewhere down approximately point. here. Jeepers, we're still away from Brady Brook. Yeah, Brandy another, Brook. Uh, another two and a half K. Okay. All right. You're the wrong place, Jer. Oh, no. <laughs> you see me you're in your glasses. So we're on the other side of Martin's Head. Um, we're about, we figure, about three K out of Goose River. Goose Creek, which we'd have to catch the tides. We may not. It's going to be tight. I think, boys, we're going to make her? Well, if not, it's 1 o'clock at night. Yeah. I think we'll do it. All right. We better get going. Already, uh, we're flying too, boys. Yeah, I know. So, this area is not marked. We don't see any signs. We think it's Brandy, Brady Brook? Brook? What is it? Yeah. Brady Brook? This is where we are right here. Oh, do you have that going? Yeah, it's we're right here. 
in that little oh in that little garage. that little we got to go up the other side and then the big that's descent. Big descent. Oh god, I thought that was a big descent we just came down. And I think that's basically into Goose Creek. Okay. And then there's one more giant mountain to climb tomorrow. Yeah. Or some today. We'll see how the day goes. I'm right of this. Right of this footpath. What do you think, boys? Tough? Well, tough. Very tough. tough. Very tough. Quads and hamstrings are ready yep. to fall off. Yes, <laughs> legs are taking an awful beating. Blisters on both feet. Good times. Yeah. So, uh, I would say. The boys are getting our water supply topped up again. Carl's got his MSR Mini Works, and Jerry's using my Sawyer Mini. Both working quite well. Yeah, the water looks clean here. Water's good here. The last spot we were at still tasted good, but it's a little brown. Still hit the spot. So we're making our descent into. Uh, Goose Creek and uh, we're in for hell we think but you should see you got to see what we're looking at here I don't know if the video is going to do it justice but it's amazing yeah and that's why being a little pain is not that bad Well, we made it to Goose Creek, and we think we're okay. We think we're going to be able to make the river cross. It's still another almost a kilometer up the beach before we cross, but I think we're in pretty good shape. And we just met a lot of hikers coming this way. We met uh, three older gentlemen, no no trekking poles, brave boys, and then we just met two more younger couples. Again, mostly no trekking poles. I don't know. I don't recommend it. All right, we'll see if we can get some water shots. Well, so far, we're halfway across the Quiddy, or sorry, the uh, Goose Creek, and it does not look at all like we thought. I guess we hit the tides better than we expected. So, there's something either wrong with the tide charts, or I don't know what's going on. The water's, the tide's going out, and it should have been coming in about three hours ago. The tide's clearly going out. Well, I don't know if this just comes from higher elevation. Maybe it runs I can't this imagine. way all the time. I don't know. Oh. So we got to cross that log down there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. That's the log we came across. We are across Goose Creek. This was the pivotal point of our everything revolved around getting across this creek. And we didn't think we hit it right. We were mistaken. That's great. Thank we're going to continue on. We made Jim Brook. And this was uh, it was a hike, all right. And we're all kind of hurting, except for Jer. And uh, it's cold down here. We're in a, we're still at, what'd you say, Carl? We're still at 600 feet? Mm. We're still at 600 feet. It's a mountain brook. It's about 600, I think. And it's one of the highest plateaus. It's a couple of K from our, next, from our next camp, and we just didn't think we could do it. So we're stopping here. We got fresh water. We got great company. We have companies just fair, <laughs> but we're hoping to get a good fire. We think we can get some firewood here. Last night we did get a fire going. It was after a torrential rain, so we think we can get a fire going here. So leaves us. We're at uh, four and a half k to mile to kilometer zero. So we did good today. Goose River was uh, Goose Creek. We got across Goose Creek and up over that monstrous hill. We did good. Not really roughing it, sitting at the campfire, listening to the radio, Bachman, and about to do a shot of Fireball Whiskey to celebrate the, how many kilometers, Carl? How many have we traveled so far? Um, we have traveled. One and a half. We're like 30. 37? I think it's around 37. Something like that. 37 kilometers through absolutely horrific 
um, territory. And that's brutal. just on the map. Just brutal. Double oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to be the, uh, hello? 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 Bring your light out there, girl. <laughs> Sick. Better not chop in the dark. Okay, boys. You see all the glasses? Not really. Down by the fire, maybe. <laughs> Poof. All right. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's gonna help me sleep tonight. Yeah. Oh. With any luck, this is our last day in the bush. We're leaving Jim Brook. What time is it, guys? You know? 8.30. About 8.30. We're gonna try to get out of here. We had a quick breakfast, nothing hot. We're gonna try to get to the top of this hill. Plus three. We think it's our last Major descent or climb. Ascent. Ascent. Yeah, cold morning, cold night. We plus had a real good fire now. going last night. Yeah, plus three right now. And we're down in a bit of a valley. It was cold. So we figure we have four and a half K out of the path and another eight K to get back to the car. So big day, but I think it's gonna be a much easier day. We made Rosebrook, nice spot. This is where we're gonna to try to make last night. It was uh, not a bad run in, a bit tricky. Probably would have been dangerous through the night. What you doing back there, Jer? Huh? What you doing back there? Carl is using the facilities directly behind me, the privy. And we are heading up there. The last of our major descents, and it's not really a major one compared to what we've been through. I think it's only it's only 100 feet or something like that, so that shouldn't be bad. So we're actually right on schedule. All right, a rock to the privy again, uh, Jer. <laughs> Just reached kilometer marker two. Two kilometers left to get out of the footpath. What do you think, boys? Tough climb. Very it was a tough, tough climb out of, uh, was it Rose, Rosebrook? Rosebrook. Real tough. Much tougher than it shows on the map. Yeah. It was a pretty grueling climb. Last day though. Last day. We're all tired and sore. So, we're getting closer to our goal. Halfway between mile marker one and two. And we've got a, quite a look out here. And it is, it is high. Oh, you doing another one? I'm just doing the video. Oh, yeah. So we made it. Mile marker zero. We did her. No severe injuries. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're still no. here. Woo! <laughs> We did it in how long? We did over four days, but really it was only three, wasn't it? I guess really three half days. Half a day. We got held up Thursday, half a day with bad rain. Half a day today. We booked pretty good today. Yeah. So now we're gonna head across. We're gonna head across Goose River, onto the Goose River Trail, and back to the home for home, <laughs> home sweet home. An eight-kilometer hike back to the car. the Goose River, trying to get on the Goose Trail, and it is horrific travel. Nothing but a mud bank. That wasn't in the brochure. <sighs> we made it back to Point Wolf, and I'll tell you, that was no picnic, that trail. It was a tough trail, especially when your feet are all beat up. That was rough. Probably 
three and a half K of incline. It was nasty and terrible footing, gravel, holes. I thought the footpath was bad. Anyway, we're back.